Guys, so today I'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video. In today's video, this video is a little bit different. I'm going to be going over some of the most ridiculous sales of this decade in the sports card industry. As we know, the sports card industry had a massive boom this decade, and there have been some sales that are so outrageous. So this is a little bit different from our traditional investment video. This is more like an entertainment video, um, just going over some of these sales. Now, before we get into it, I did want to say this week's giveaway is an Anthony Edwards Red White Blue Prism in a PSA 10. If you guys would like to enter, all you have to do is subscribe, like this video, follow me on Instagram at it's Kanala Huja and comment the word done down below once you followed those three steps once you followed the Instagram subscribed and liked the video all you have to do is comment the word done and you will be entered in to win a free around $300 card um, so definitely worth the chance if you haven't already entered um, now without further ado we are going to hop right into the video um, so the first player that we have on our list we're gonna be going over some crazy sales of is Tyler Hero um, Tyler Hero during the bubble had in you know he had a great bubble he had a great year he had a great rookie year and we saw some of his cards go absolutely crazy um we saw his true nt in a bgs 95 at one point sell for over thirty thousand dollars um this is not you know a 101 this is not an out of three but is true to 99 sold on september 29 2020 for thirty thousand seven hundred dollars um if we want to know what that is worth now it is definitely way, way, way less than that. Um, you know, a lot of investors who bought into the hype during the bubble, um, you know, took massive, massive shavings. That card is down around 90% to this point. Um, but just the fact that a true NT of Hero at one point sold for over $30,000 I find to be pretty crazy um, to just think about in today's current market and where Tyler Hero currently is. Um, now, next up on the list, Ball Ball had a little bit of a period during the bubble um, where a lot of people were buying into his cards. You saw his true NT in a three-color patch on July 23rd, 2020, sold for over $6,000 for Ball Ball. Um Sounds absolutely insane to think of right now. In fact, there's even some recent sales that have been pretty high for Ball Ball. As of last year, his Immaculate Logo Man sold for over $4,000. But at some point, at least that is a Logo Man 101. Um, this is just a true NT. There are 99 of them. And someone paid over $6,000 for one of them in July of 2020, which is pretty insane. Um, now, next up on the list, we're going to go with TJ Warren. Um, during the bubble, he was having some very, very big games. Um, and someone actually paid... Over $2,000 um, for a gold Pulsar prism of TJ Warren in 2021, um, which wasn't even during the peak hype for TJ Warren. Um, so I find that card sale to be pretty, pretty extravagant, um, especially for not even a true gold or not even a 101, but just a gold Pulsar out of 10, over $2,000 for TJ Warren. Um, now, next up, we're going to go with someone that you guys are probably a little bit more familiar with, Zion Williamson. Um, his true NT in a BGS 9.5 at one point sold for over almost $600,000 on golden auctions in 2022. Um, you know, this sale at one point seemed a lot of people were buying into him. I mean, you had a lot of people spend a lot of money in Zion's market. It wasn't just this sale. There were a lot of six-figure sales of Zion cards. Um, there hasn't been a six-figure sale in the last two years um, for obvious reasons, but there are a lot of very strong sales for Zion's cards. And, you know, this being a true NT, not even a 101, not even an out of five, um, not one of his absolute best cards, but just a true NT for almost $600,000 I would personally classify that as one of the craziest buys, you know, in this decade. And if we just look at where his current market is, you can definitely see that this card is not even cracking six figures nowadays. Um, you know, it's still, you know, has some inherent value, but it's definitely down around 90% or more um, of what it currently is. Card Ladder currently values it at $77,000 on this card. Of course, that's not fully accurate, but you can just sort of get an idea of where his market has gone. Um, now, next up, during Jordan Poole's peak days with the Warriors, um, you saw his Nebula 1 of 1 sell for $30,000. 
um, which sounds crazy, but even crazier is that a raw true NT, um, you know, they were doing some insane numbers at the peak. I'm personally not sure if this sale is legit. I don't believe this is a legit sale. Um, but if you look at some of his other cards that have sold, some of these other sales are legit. Um, for example, his gold NT raw sold for over $13,000. Um, we saw a time where his trues, you know, were doing around $10,000, um, you know, in all grades. You saw a lot of sales for around $10,000 at premier auction houses for his true NTs, um, which I, you know, feel to be absolutely insane. Of course, he did have, you know, a part in his career where he was showing like he could be one of the next up in Golden State alongside Steph Curry. Um, and that is where we see a lot of these people paying five figures for Jordan Poole's true NTs. Um, and they are currently down around 90%, I believe. Um, maybe a little bit less than 90%, but still in, down some very, very strong numbers for Jordan Poole. Um, now, next up on the list I wanted to go over um, was a football player, um, Mac Jones. He had some insane sales. There's actually one kid who had pulled one of these cards and sold it privately for $100,000 in 2022 um, for his Black Finite 101. And this... Mm, was one of the smartest decisions to sell that card as soon as he pulled it because this card right now is probably under $5,000. Um, this guy pulled it, sold it when it was hot, um, and got $100,000 for Mac Jones Black Finite um, 101 from Prism. There are also a lot of other pretty strong Mac Jones sales in 2022, and a lot of these cards are down over 95%, some even more. Um, so this was a bloodbath for a lot of investors. Um, and it wasn't only Mac Jones. There have been a lot of other players who people were paying some insane numbers for. Trey Lance, his Platinum one of one flawless shield sold for over a hundred thousand dollars. In fact, a hundred and thirty two thousand dollars for his one of one shield. Um, we saw a lot of his other cards sell for absurd numbers. These are cards right now that are probably under two thousand dollars, if not under one thousand dollars. And it sold for fifty-seven thousand for his NT out of forty-nine. Um, you just saw a lot of wild, wild Trey Land sales. Um, his true NTs were flying for ridiculous numbers. Um, you know, his hollow gold, I'm not sure how legit some of these sales are. I do know that the one of one shield is legit. This was on PWCC, which is now Fanatics Premier. Um, his one of one shield selling for $132,000. So just crazy to look back on Trey Lance's market and how low it's gotten. Um, if we look at other players who had more of a, you know, peak and really have come down, you can look to Deshaun Watson. I mean, his national treasures, he was at one point a top two, top three quarterback in the league. And you saw people paying absurd numbers for his cards. Um, and as we can see right now, they are currently down very, very bad. You saw someone pay over $66,000 for his 2017 NT gold um, out of 10 in the PSA 10, which is one of his best cards, but $66,000 for any Deshaun Watson card now looks really, really insane. Um, and we can even look for other young players who have really, really taken a price hit. Um, you know, if we look at Desmond Ritter, people were paying over $10,000 for a lot of his cards. I believe it's one of white, one of one finite at the Burbank show, I believe it was, had sold for around $20,000, um, which now goes down as one of the worst investments in modern history. Um, and if we look at other guys in that category, Pickett is another guy that comes to mind. People are paying some absurd numbers from him. I believe this one was on eBay um, for over $20,000 for his out of two um, Nike patch logo from 2022 NT, um, which was another sale that was just, you know, this card right now, I don't believe is even a $2,000 card, probably around $1,000 if I were to take a guess. Um, and someone paid over $20,000 for it pretty recently, just last year, around this time last year. Um, so this just should serve as like a warning for a lot of people who are buying into a lot of speculating 
you know, young players right now. I know so many people are throwing so much money at guys like AR, Will Levis. Um, of course, Stroud's a little bit more proven, but still has got a lot of uncertainty. Um, so this is just what could happen if stuff goes wrong. Of course, you have the players that did really well, like Purdy. Um, their stuff's up a lot, but it just should serve as sort of like a warning for people buying into these players just to see what could potentially happen if their careers don't pan out. Um, another guy that people are paying some absurd numbers for was Trey Young during the peak. Um, Trey Young's cards had insane value in 2020 and 2021. Um, you can see his one of one prism sold on PWCC for over $400,000 in 2021. Um, this card is probably under 50,000 if I were to take a guess if it sold today. Um, his Nebula sold for almost 400 grand. Um, his one of one prism sold for almost 300 grand with the auto. Um, so just some absurd numbers for some Trey Young cards. His NTs also had some incredible sales. Um, his 9.5 did $198,000. Um, and I think his PSA 10 now is like around 10 to 15,000. Um, so just some very, very tough um, investments that did not pan out when it comes to Trey Young, at least so far. But I don't see, no matter how good his career goes from here, I don't see his numbers quite getting back up to where they were in the peak of the hype. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. Kind of more of an entertaining video for you guys. If you enjoyed, um, drop a subscribe. We are on our way to 50,000 subscribers. And once again, for the giveaway of the Anthony Edwards, all you have to do is subscribe, like the video, follow me on Instagram, and comment the word done. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'm out. Peace.